welcome students let us see a very interesting and important question from the chapter sets oh, so here question is write the solution set of the following equations in roster form in previous videos we have already discussed that sets can be represented in two different forms one is roster form which is known as tabular form also and another is set builder form we have already discussed you might have gone through these videos you have might seen these videos and you might have understood it well so some quadratic equations are given here in these three parts of the question and we have to find out the solutions of these quadratic equations and we have to write the solution set in roster form first is x square plus x minus 2 second and third two more equations are given so let us do one by one and find out we'll find out the solution set okay so let us see first question here quadratic equation is x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 we can factorize this quadratic equation by splitting the middle term very easily so you know how we can split up the middle term we will multiply first and last term when terms are arranged in descending order okay so this multiplication is 2x square so we have to uh, of course this is minus 2x square because we have to consider sign also so minus sign is here so multiply of first and last term will minus 2x square so we have to uh, split up this middle term x in two terms such that product of these two terms will be minus 2x square but some or difference will remain same x okay so this can be written as x square plus 2x minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 so you see there is no difficulty in writing this 2x minus x is x no problem but product of these two terms 2x and minus x is minus 2x square product of these two terms is minus 2x square so these two values these two multiplication should be equal the multiplication of first and last term here should be equal to multiplication of two middle terms after splitting this middle term here minus two that we need to care and you have studied in the chapter of quadratic equation we have done so many questions in this form in quadratic equation chapter also okay now further move let us write here let us take something common from first two terms so you see here x will be common from first two terms so x common and here x plus 2 and minus 1 will be common from last two terms so minus 1 is common x plus 2 is equal to 0 here we have to check that these two expressions should be always equal the expressions the algebraic expressions inside the bracket should be always equal so that we could take common again so here x plus 2 will be common and here this is x and here minus 1 this is equal to 0 and here product of these two factors is 0 this is possible only when either this is 0 or this is 0 so when x plus 2 is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to minus 2 and when x minus 1 is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to 1 so we are getting these two values x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1 so solution set will be the set consisting of the elements minus 2 and 1 so this is the answer correct very simple now similarly we will do second question also here second question is x square plus 7x minus 18 is equal to 0 or here product of these two first and last is minus 18 x square so we have to split up 7x accordingly so this is x square plus 9x minus 2x minus 18 is equal to 0 you see product of two middle terms is minus 18x square 
product of first and last is minus 18x square. So, it is correct. Now, second step, next step, we have to take something common from first two terms. So, here x will be common or x is common. So, x plus 9 and here minus 2 is common, x plus 9 is equal to 0, correct? And we have already discussed here that these two expressions should be equal so that we could take common x plus 9 will be common from these two terms. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Clear? So, either this part will be 0 or this part will be 0 or both may be 0, no problem. So, when x plus 9 is equal to 0, we are getting x is equal to minus 9. And when x minus 2 is equal to 0, we are getting x is equal to 2. So, you are getting two values of solutions, two values of x minus 9 and 2. Okay? So, solution set will be therefore, here solution set of this quadratic equation is minus 9 and 2. This is the answer of the second part. Accordingly, we can do third question also. Third is 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 split up this term. So, this is 2x square minus 4x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can take something common from first two terms. So, here 2x will be common. So, here x minus 2 and here minus 1 will be common. x minus 2 is equal to 0 or these are equal. So, x minus 2 will be common and here 2 x minus 1, 2 x minus 1, this is equal to 0. Uh, we need a correction here, sorry, we could not see this condition. Here x is a natural number. So, we are getting minus 9 and 2, but minus 9 is not a natural number. So, only answer set will be 2 here. Please make a correction here. Accordingly, you see this condition also. x should be an integer. Okay? So, here x minus 2 or 2x minus 1 into 0. So, when x minus 2 is equal to 0, we are getting x is equal to 2. And when 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, we are getting x is equal to half. Okay? So, we have to consider only integers. Here half is not an integer. So, this value of x will not come in the solution set. So, solution set will consist of only this number, this integer 2. So, therefore, here solution set will consist of only 2. This is the answer. So, you know how to solve quadratic equation and after solving these quadratic equations, we get the solution set. But at the same time, you have to be careful about the conditions given and uh, accordingly we have to write the solution set. In fact, in the first question, there is no condition. It is not mentioned whether it is a natural number or integer. So, we are writing both the solutions here minus 2 and 1. And in second and third, some conditions are given. So, accordingly, we will take the values of x. We will take the solutions here. Okay? So, in this way, we can solve these questions very easily, very interestingly. So, hope you will remain in touch with these videos and will enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.